All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, Mike. Check. You can see my microphone now. Is that weird? I think it's weird that you can see it, or it kind of makes it look more uh, radio broadcasty. I don't know. Anyway, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day and we're gonna get right into it here. I got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. We're gonna be doing some beer tasting, some shout outs, some first impressions of a couple devices, including a tank, which is weird. Hope to wrap it up with some viewer mail. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna dive right into this. And the first thing on my vlog notes, I, I, I did vlog note this week. The last couple weeks I haven't done any vlog notes and I've been kind of scattered. Like I get to a point when I'm like, Ooh, what do I talk about next? The first thing, before we get to beer, which uh, is, is important, but not as important. In fact, nothing I talk about will be as important as what I'm about to talk about. There's a lot of uh, legislation coming up. You know what? We're getting into the new year, and all of the uh, state, local, and federal governments are all going crazy with their vaping legislation. So one thing that I would highly, highly recommend you do is... If you're on Instagram, and I, I should have had this pulled up, I have I literally everything Instagram. Um, uh, if you're on Instagram, um, what is it underscore? If you're on Instagram, you should be following Casa because they. Uh, they're always posting their call to actions on Instagram, and it's it's really easy. You know what? I'm just gonna go to my Instagram. Grim Green. Go to Grim Green um, because I know that I follow them along with, well, I follow 500 people, which is crazy. Um, but I recently reposted their call to action about uh, New York. State three bills threaten to access, uh, threaten your access to vapor products, uh, banning the sales of bottled e liquids, banning them, no bottled e liquids in the state of New York, and a 75% per, wholesale tax. This will basically make uh, vaping in New York State uh, impossible. You you will become a criminal if you do it. So I'm going to post a link in the description to the Casa Media Instagram. They post these often and I always try to repost them and it's sad. It's sad because I can post a picture of me with a laser and it gets like a thousand likes. And then I can post a Casa call to action and it gets like 200 likes, 300 likes. Those uh, those should be getting more likes. Unless, whoa, sudden clarity clearance. Unless you don't like it because it's bad news. Mind blown. But regardless, I'm going to link in the description to Kasa Media. They have one out now for New York State. The uh, uh, ban of bottled e-liquid as well as 75 percent wholesale tax which is crazy um they also have one out right now <clears throat> uh from michigan they have another one out right now call to action sb66 would redefine e-cigs as tobacco products and electronic smoking devices this is in the state of montana um also additionally new orleans i'm going to link in the description to the casa media uh, as well as the vaping militia, because I love the militia and I love Casa. Their Instagrams, follow their Instagrams. They put out good information that we as vapers need to know. Um, we as vendors need to know. If you have a, a shop or you run your business out of New York State, you're going to be paying 75% wholesale, wholesale tax. Is that something that you as a business owner want to do? Is that something that you as a vapor want to deal with? Of course not. So take action. Follow Casa Media. Um, I'll post a link in the description, like I said, to their uh, Instagram as well as Casa.org. C-A-S-A-A -A dot, uh, dot org. And now, now we will get into this beer. And I don't exactly remember who sent me this beer because I'm a terrible person, but I believe it was War Mouse. Um, uh, Centennial IPA. And as promised, I have the ridiculous glass. 
This is a ridiculous glass. I'm not exactly sure what beer is supposed to go in this glass. You know, different beers require, not require, but it's preferred to use certain glasses with certain uh, beers. And this one, uh, I was like, I don't even know what this, it just looks like a goblet, like a Viking would use. Um, but anyway, I'm going to jump on this. This is one of my favorite IPAs of all time, and I believe this does come from the great state of Michigan. This is the Founders Centennial IPA. There's three, there's three IPAs that I really, really like. One of them is Pliny the Elder, obviously, which is fantastic. Hetty Topper, obviously, which is fantastic. The IPA I had last week, oh, was so good. And now I want to come back because it knocked this out of my top three. And I want to see if this Centennial IPA is as good, <laughs> is as, good as I remember it. The, uh, what did I have last week? The Arctic Snow Wolf. Arctic Snow Wolf rounded out my top three. I'm not opening it over my keyboard. And, whoops, easy now. And it's not a cork, so I'm not scared. Where's my trash can? Good God, Lemon. So, let's pour this bottle <laughs> into this glass. It's not even going to take up uh, all of the glass at all. Oh, that's nice for pouring. Oh, you just pour it on the on the rounded area there. Look at that. Founder Centennial IPA. I've had this beer a bunch of bunch of times, and every time I've had it, I go, yeah, that is a good IPA. Um, looking at the Beer Advocate site right now, the Founder Centennial IPA currently has a 99 world class rating and a 92 outstanding rating. Anything in the 90s, you know it's going to be a good beer. Even anything in the 80s is a good beer. In my experiences, Beer Advocate, uh, it's not, you know, the be all end all judgment of beer, but it's a, you know, it's an aggregator. Everybody can review it, it has 6,000 ratings, and out of those 6,000 ratings, it still scored a 92%. Um, you know, it would be great. Uh, no one steal this idea from me. Juice Advocate, right? Catalog juices have everyday people rate them, and, uh, you know, you click on there and you see, oh, uh, Mom's Pineapple Cake has a 88%. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, Cereal Killa has a, a 92%. Hey, that's pretty good out of 7,000 ratings. If we could get enough people on board, I think it could be a good idea. But regardless, Founder Centennial IPA, impress me. Oh my God, that's good. It's going to be a toss-up. This is this is good. This is a really fucking good IPA. Uh, and I'm not a big IPA guy, but this one, this this one, this one is a good IPA. Um, sometimes IPAs are very bitter, and I'm getting a very little bit of bitterness on the finish, but it's not like crazy bitterness. Like some are so hoppy and bitter that I can't stand them. Um, but a lot of these other IPAs that I've had. I've really been into uh, the Wet Hop IPA, like the Heady Topper or the Pliny the Elder. I don't know if the Centennial is wet hopped. It doesn't matter because I get a lot of upfront hoppy sweetness and it's, uh, it's just delicious. If you're a beer person, but you're, and the, if the finish is incredibly clean, incredibly smooth, if you're a beer guy and you don't like IPAs, Give the Centennial a try. It might win you over, and if you like it, then you may only like that IPA. You won't. Uh, you may not like any other IPAs, but it is what it is. Centennial IPA, uh, big fan. Uh, it's very, very good. Very, very good. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Holy crap! Holy crap! That is good. So let's uh, let's move forward a little bit. I want to do a couple of shout outs, as it were. Um, let me grab my uh, four shout outs mailbox. Pardon me. Sorry, Sheik. Sorry. I, pardon me. That's two. That's two. Robin, Stuart, tell me to stop burping. Sheik always tells me to, uh, tells me to stop burping. Uh, burping. So uh, the first one that I want to give, I have to give a shout out to this person. Uh, he's such a good guy. Uh, 
such a good guy and he just kind of hit a milestone on his YouTube. Oh, I can't see how many subs he has. He just hit like 70,000 subs. It's Vaping with Twisted 420. Now, I don't get to talk with Vaping with Twisted 420 very often, but I love him. I love him as a human. I want to embrace him and just be like, yeah, you're a good guy. Vaping with Twisted 420 is is such a good guy. He's such he, he does such good YouTube videos and you know, he has this very you know, similar I don't you know, I guess similar mentality as me as you put out the videos, people watch the videos, cool. Like that's cool. He's not trying to be like this big uh, vape celebrity or 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 anything. He's from what I've seen, he seems like a very personable, very humble guy. He's going to be at Vapor Slam uh, in March in Winston Salem, North Carolina. I will be at Vapor Slam in March in Winston Salem, North Carolina, and he will be there. And I'm all like giddy with excitement. Like I, I'm really excited to meet him. I'm really, really excited to meet him. So vaping with Twisted 420. Not sure if you watch the vlogs, but consider yourself shouted out because you're such a solid dude. And I love your Ninja Turtles poster uh, in the background. And I love, I love, love that you haven't uh, that you haven't got rid of it yet. Uh, I'm glad that no one's been like, what's with that poster? Take it down. And you're like, no, I'm leaving it. It's staying. It's the Ninja Turtles. You can deal with it. Anyway, so vaping with Twisted 420. Not that he needs it, but here's a shout out. And I will post a link in the description to his channel because he's such, 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 such a good guy. Uh, the next guy I want to give a shout out to is named Devin. That's right, Devin uh, goes by Ginger Vapes, I believe, on the uh, on the Instagram. I met him a couple of times. Met him in North Carolina. Met him again at ECC. Uh, he's kind of been my point of contact. So I uh, I ruined my my box. That that green plexi my box mod that I loved so so dearly. I I ruined it. I someone's calling me right now. Well, that's ruining my next surprise. No, and it's on my MacBook, which is just freaking me out. Sorry, I can't answer your phone call right now from Florida. Um, Devin's been my contact, uh, my point of contact for the MyBox. Uh, I completely ruined it, and what I did was the stupidest thing ever. Um, runs two 18650s. You put them positive side up, positive side up. And I was so used to using the Segelis and the, you know, the... Uh, the Hexome version 2, where you have to put one positive side up and one positive side down. And I made the mistake of doing that in the my box, which evidently is a very, very, very bad thing. Put the first battery in, no problem. Flip the second battery upside down and put the positive in the bottom, and the springs just melted, and smoke just poured, and it just shorted the whole fucking thing out. I'm like, oh, damn it. Like, I was so, so bummed, so angry. Um, yeah, just bummed me out. Just bummed me out. So I sent my my box back to get fixed. Hopefully it'll be back in my possession soon because I miss it. It's such a good mech mod. Uh, not a mech mod. I don't even know what you would call it. It's an unregulated box mod. Um, I think it's fantastic. But anyway, Devin uh, was texting with me, and he was trying to make a ringtone for the grindhouse for the intro to the vlog. And uh, apart from my normal ringtone, which is this. It's uh, obviously from the Karate Kid. It's a little motivational thing every time my phone rings. I did make the Grindhouse ringtone, which you heard earlier when someone called me. So I'm trying to figure out a way. I'm trying to figure out a way. Let me switch it back to my uh, my theme tune or my uh, my old. Which one? Oh, I have this one too. Archer, right? There it is. So I'm trying to figure out a way that I can distribute that ringtone without getting in trouble because it's copyrighted. I don't own the rights to that intro. In fact, a long time ago, the Weinstein Company. Uh, flagged my videos for using it and then they released my videos and so I just went back to using it um, but there was a while where I wasn't using it 
And uh, the so now I'm back to using it. I made it into a ringtone. I'm trying to figure out a way to distribute it freely without getting in any sort of trouble from Hollywood because I don't own the rights to that. But Devin, you've been a good guy. You've been helping me out, and uh, I have the actual uh, I have the actual ringtone for it. So another thing, another thing, another person I wanted to shout out. Um, I guess I could include this in the viewer mail. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this guy, Logan, emailed me and said, I've been a vapor for four years in Miami. Now this is kind of more of a warning thing. Um, I had never had any issues with any mods until now. I purchased a Cloudpour Mini, which uh, I do have coming in the mail, from a certified dealer about a week ago. It has been a great vape up until now. This morning I woke up and was vaping, and I noticed my battery level was low on the screen, so I plugged in the Clouper to the provided retractable USB and started to charge the device. I am using the newer Samsung batteries, which do great in all my other mods, IPV version 2, 30, and 50, and all my other mechs. My wife was sitting beside me and noticed that something was smelling like gas or rubber. I went to take a vape and saw that the Clouper Mini was smoking from the door compartment. Quickly, I thought it was the battery leaking, and I was a little scared from all the horror stories. I've never had any experience with this before, but I am an experienced vapor with many different devices and batteries. I took the Clouper out of the balcony of my condo and let it sit in the shade outside for about 10 minutes. Then I grabbed my glove from the closet, thinking it might have been, uh, thinking it might be leaking, and I removed the magnetic door. Uh, this is what I saw. And uh, he attached a bunch of pictures, and I'll, I'll hopefully be able to show you these pictures here. It looks like it uh, it melted like the circuit board. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but it looks like something on the inside, something electronically vented and melted. It's kind of bowed out, and there's, there's melted plastic all around. And he says, I just want to give you a heads up and tell you my story about one of the most anticipated devices seems to have one major flaw. I don't know what that flaw is. Um, I'm going to get a Clouper Mini soon uh, and I'm hoping that it doesn't melt on me. So anyone out there with a Clouper Mini when you're charging it, just be careful. Just be aware. Uh, a lot of, you know, it, it melted. It Clearly there's some sort of uh, bulging happening going on in a big hole and you know I could imagine that that smells like it's uh it's smoking I know when I melted the springs on my my box uh it smelled like I had just fried a hard drive or fried a circuit board you know that like burnt electronic smell that exists that's exactly what it uh what it uh, what it smelled like and so thank you Logan Vapor for sending that uh for sending that my way that's crazy um hopefully you saw the pictures now there was one last thing one last person that i wanted to shout out and this isn't so much of a shout out but uh this person emailed me and didn't even sign his name okay oh santiago santiago he writes me and says hey nick you probably hate me for all of the shit i'm asking you to do i don't but this is the most important. I don't know if you could say something in your vlog or not. For Mexico, there is a page that has a petition for the legalization of vape stores in Mexico. Apparently, currently, according to this email, vape shops, uh, vape shops are illegal in Mexico. I think it will take you just one minute. I think there is a petition, uh, th there's a petition that he attached to the email um, and Mexicans should check it out. It would help us a lot. I think that we are a big ass community, and a lot of Mexicans that vaped helped, and a lot of Mexicans that vaped helped you on Casa and Free to Vape. I'm not saying like, oh, you have to do it or something, but like that, but only if, obviously, there's a little bit of uh, lost in translation here. I would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link in the description. All you vapors from Mexico, uh, absolutely uh, go over and sign this. If you go to the change.org site, uh, it's all in Spanish, so I can translate it. And it's basically for do something for the electronic cigarette uh, smoking legalize uh, vape shops in Mexico. It has a whole list, uh, you know, whole paragraphs and everything about what's an e-liquid, what is vaping, why this should be legal, and uh, so far they need they need 5,000 signatures. They have 770 
uh, signatures. So if you are a vapor from Mexico and you would like to see vape shops be legalized in your country, absolutely head over there. I will post a link in the description to, uh, to where you can sign this petition. Santiago, thank you for sending that uh, Thank you for sending that over my way. Uh, there was one more. It was a fun shout out. It wasn't like uh, it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like depressing or anything. There's so many. Uh, my shout outs. My, my, my shout out list is getting uh, is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, here, let's do this one. Let's do this one from Melanie. Um, this is this one goes but way back to November. Uh, let me have a vape and a beer real fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, Centennial IPA. Um, I've been vaping this Mutation X version 2 like crazy lately. Uh, I've just been falling in love with it. It, the flavor is unbelievable. I've been vaping the Epiclouds Mom's Pineapple Cake. It's basically, it's basically all I vape. It's become my all-day vape. Uh, this bottle's almost empty, and I have a bottle just sitting here, just waiting to be opened because I freaking love this juice. And the flavor on this Mutation X is surprisingly good. Um, I shut it down to like the last three holes, and the airflow is nice. The flavor is delicious, and the performance is uh, the performance is great. This is a 0.5 ohm uh, build. We're going to talk about this mod in a second. God, do you just love vaping? Like when you take a when you take that big drag or that big toot, as some people would say, you just love it. I just love it. Like that was so satisfying right there. I just love it. I just love it. It's just delicious. So, last shout out of the day. I know you probably have a bazillion messages from people. Not quite a bazillion, more like half a bazillion. But if you get this, uh, could you send me a message back? Right to the point, my boyfriend and I are huge fans of your YouTube channel and have been for quite some time. Is it possible for you to give him a shout out? Because uh, it's almost been a whole year since he finally quit smoking. Congratulations. And that is a huge accomplishment. I'm so proud of him. Uh, I know it would blow his mind and would give me major girlfriend points to hear you shout him out. His name is Joe DePowers. Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend. Much love, Melanie. Uh, absolutely. Joe, consider yourself shouted out. Melanie, I hope you score some girlfriend points. Congratulations uh, to you, Joe, for being uh, cigarette-free for an entire year. I think that is I think that is just fantastic. There's no other point to vaping to me than getting off of cigarettes. Cloud comps, trick comps, uh, everything else just comes second to getting off cigarettes. Once you get off cigarettes, then you get to go have fun and be a hobbyist and blow big, blow big clouds. But but prior to that, it's all about uh, it's all about getting off cigarettes. It's always all about getting off of cigarettes. And Joe Joe DePowers, congratulations! I think that's awesome. Melanie, I hope you get some uh, some serious wicked girlfriend points for this uh, shout out. But Joe, consider yourself shouted out and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. I thought there was another email I had. Oh, oh, Bill. 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 Where's the tank? Oh no. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Uh, Bill. I'm sorry. I think your video I think it's going to have to wait until next week because I don't see your tank anywhere. I wonder if I left it in the kitchen. Ah, I can't go look for it. Um, bummer. Bummer, Bill. Bummer. That is a huge bummer. Bill, I will be shouting you out next week. He sent me a tank uh, with this crazy flavor build in it. And it is super, super cool. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I don't know where it went. It's not around here anywhere. So there you go. That's That's a bummer. Bill, 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 Bill. I will shout you out consider it done next uh, uh, pardon me uh next uh next week oh my <sighs> shout outs 
I have too many shout outs to do. I could spend an entire vlog doing shout outs and I wouldn't even uh, I wouldn't even get to half of them. So moving forward, I did get a laser. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, ooh, I did buy a laser. What if I shoot it directly into the lens? Oh, it just it just goes crazy. Yeah, so I totally bought a laser. Uh, and it's freaking awesome. Uh, I think every vapor should own this, should own a laser. Um, in the middle of answering emails and sitting back here, I'll just shoot things across the room. I'll be like, pew, 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 pew. It's awesome. Uh, I, I love it. I love owning a laser. Uh, I'll try to track down the link. I bought this for 25 bucks on Amazon, and it's basically the greatest $25 uh, that I've ever spent. So now that we've talked about lasers, now that we've talked about beer, now that we've done some shout outs, let's get on to some first impressions. Oh, I think I'm at the end of this bottle of mom's pineapple cake. Oh, there's a little bit left in there. Um, this is the, ah, it's leaking. Damn it, Mutation X. First thing I want to talk about. Oh, I flooded that. I flooded it good. I should not have been dripping. Why did you guys let me drip? Should not have been dripping. Now there's juice here. First thing I want to talk about is this thing. Okay. Do you see this? This is called the DTM Ultron 150 watt mod. Um, this came to me via a third party, so it wasn't the manufacturer, it was like a distribution center uh, called Bluefish Distribution, something along those lines. And I've tried as hard as I can to find any information about this box. I saw on Facebook that Vaping with Twisted 420 got one, and I was texting with Matt the other day, and I saw that he told me that he had got one, and we can't figure it out. We just can't figure it out. It runs on a LiPo pack. It has a proprietary charger in the bottom, which means it doesn't charge shit. I just got e-liquid on my computer monitor. Or on my... Okay, well, now we're moving the camera around. Thanks a lot. Let's... Let's uh let's readjust that. Son of a bitch. I got e-liquid on my MacBook. That's not good. That's not good at all. I wish I hadn't flooded this. Anyway, <laughs> all that to show you the uh charger on the bottom is proprietary. It's not uh USB or anything like that. Forgive me while I lick my mod to clean it off. Silly. Silly. Thank you, Vapor Die. Quick shout out to Vapor Die. Uh, I have these rags and I use them constantly. As you can see, this one's just super, super dirty with juice and liquids and everything like that. It's time for that to go in the wash. But this came from them. And even going on Google, uh, the first search result is eBay, which gives no information as to who makes it or how it works. The second one is freaking my Instagram picture that I posted. If you search for DTM Ultron box mod, that's what you get. You get no search results. Here, let's search. Oh, something fell over. Yeah, you get you get grimgreen.com because of my Instagram picture of it. Um, I don't know anything about this. It's a 150 watt mod. Tells me the date. It's uh, the 14th right now when I'm shooting this. It tells you the amps, the ohms, the voltage, the watts, your battery. I got number 98 and it does this weird thing where when you press the button it like boosts like it fires up really fast and then calms back down the problem is you can't see the voltage unless you're pressing the button so I have to like look in a reflection to see the voltage and no matter what wattage I set it at it gives me 7 volts what? It doesn't feel like 7 volts. So if I press the button, yep, 7.3 volts. So then I thought, well, maybe I'm reading it backwards and it's 3.7 volts. But no, even if I turn this way down, let's turn this down to 10 watts. Yeah, it's still giving me 7.4 volts and it does that little boost, but it's not giving me 7.4 volts.
it's very 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 weak so basically I turn this up to 40 watts 40 40 watts where I would normally run a 0.5 ohm coil where I like it and it feels normal but the display says 7.2 volts no matter what I put this at no matter what setting 7.2 volts and maybe I can't even justify that in my head I'm like well maybe it's getting 7 volts from the battery or maybe I don't know I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on with this when the screen dims out you have to press the button to make it come back on and then you can vape but it gives you a little puff it gives you like a boost of energy right at the beginning I'm vaping with Twisted 420's Facebook, he's got a video of it, and he turns it down to like 2 watts, and it still goes, <laughs> and I turn it up to 40 watts, and it goes, <laughs> and like backs back down. It's really bizarre, and if the screen is off and you press the button, it takes like a full 5 seconds before it'll fire, but if your screen's on, it fires kind of right away. And you can feel that boost with, with, with other things more than other things, if that makes any sense. Like Mutation X, I don't really notice it very much. The Mutation X version 2, sorry, I don't notice it very much. But when I put the Aspire Atlantis on here, I really notice it, especially if I'm taking a drag and then I press the button, it's like, pfft. it's so bizarre, so bizarre. I'm interested to see where Matt got his from, because mine came from a distribution company. Mine didn't come from the manufacturer, so I'm wondering if his came from the... Uh, from the manufacturer but anyway obviously i will report back later with how this performs overall it's not bad it's a little bit bigger than a segeli it's a little bit beefier than like a hexome v2 but it's got an internal lipo pack it tells you the battery uh life that you have left and i seem to be getting a pretty cruddy battery life over the course of one day i drained this battery down to about 40 percent off of a fresh charge which uh I've been getting much longer life off of the Segeli and off of the Hexomes, but uh, yeah, it's a crazy, crazy mod, and it shows their logo. Let's see if I can show it to you. One, two, three, four, five. Turns off. One, two, three, four, five. Fancy logo. And then it shows you all the nonsense. Um, yeah, there's no way to hook it up to your computer, as far as I can tell, to change that logo, because that would be cool, right? It's weird. It's a weird, it's a weird, weird device. Um, I want to talk about a mech mod next. So this mech mod came from dot mods and, uh, or dot mod. Sorry, it's not dot mods, it's dot mod. Uh, they have some amazing wideboard drip tips right here that I love using. And then they have this mech mod. And I saw pictures of this mech mod online. And I was kind of like, eh, ugh. it just looks like a mech mod. I mean, it's a tube with a, with a switch and a contact and a battery. It's like... There's so many mech mods and then when you feel this mech mod it has these cutouts right along the bottom and when you feel the switch oh it's just so smooth i was completely like impressed with the switch of this button I've got it currently going right now with the mako from uh, beyond vape which is just a very simple three post uh, atomizer it has the Cylon style slots which I really like but this mod is completely self adjusting so the pin in the top adjusts and it sits on like this little spring loaded Delrin uh, base so there's this Delrin base right here and that itself is spring loaded like I can squish it up and down is that coming across on video I can squish it up and down and that takes up your battery rattle that takes up your battery rattle and then you have this very very smooth 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 switch on the bottom there's no locking mechanism uh, out of all the mechs that i've gotten recently this one i have uh, i've really been enjoying it's very very clean auto adjusting you don't need to fiddle with anything and the button is very very smooth i'll post a link in the description not to the dot mod site because i can't oh come on google chrome why do you suck so much um, 
I googled uh, dot mod Petri. It looks like it's 150 bucks. Naval brass stainless accents, 18650 battery, four floating pins of 24 karat gold, uh, coated copper contact, self-adjusting battery rattle feature, no top adjustment, 22 millimeter. Uh, 0.7 registered voltage drop, seamless 2.05 threading, micro engravings, fully recessed buttons, super smooth spring. It is a super smooth spring. But this is from a DC Vapor Distribution Company. They were just the first ones that came up in my Google searching. But I'll post a link in the description. I'm very interested to sort of uh, put this mod through its paces, so to speak, because I really like the clean lines of it. I like how small it is. I like that you don't have to adjust anything, and I am loving this button. It's just a, it's just a joy to use. Oh, that's what that juice is. This isn't even donut pounder. This is just a mix of like five different flavors. There's some donut pounder in here, some pineapple cake in here, and some vigilante skull and crossbones in here. And I just put it in a glass bottle with that says uh, that says donut pounder. I don't know why I did that. No big deal. No big deal. So uh, I never really talked about the Kennedy, and I don't think I'm going to talk about it in this video either. I did a little Instagram video of the Kennedy, the new competition Kennedy with the uh, four airflow holes. Uh, haven't had any leaking issues and the new wide bore top caps for the Kennedy, but it doesn't matter because I take I take the cap off to uh, to drip on my Kennedy anyway. So we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about the Kennedy because this this is running a little bit long. But I do want to talk about this Delta. This Delta is kind of amazing. It came in to me from Joy Tech. And it has an adjustable Cylon airflow right there that you can see. I have it on my Hexome V2 right now, to live, and it uses a similar looking uh, coil head as the Atlantis, as the you know uh, the Kangers. It looks similar. It's big and it's got big airflow holes at the bottom. It also comes with a rebuildable atomizer base that you can rebuild and put in there as well. So it'll kind of work more like a uh, like a K-Fun or like an Orchid style where the juice comes in the bottom rather than the juice coming in the sides. It looks clean. It performs amazing. The flavor is great. The only problem with this is it sounds like a freaking wind tunnel. It's so loud. But the performance and the vapor, I mean, the performance and the flavor are just right on point. It's a great tank. I've really enjoyed using it. I'm interested to try out that rebuildable base. And obviously, I'm interested to try it, you know, uh, in my day-to-day -day vaping to see how it holds up. Um, there's these slots cut in it so you can see kind of where your liquid level is at. But they're not super intrusive. Maybe like a full glass tank. Like, I like to see my liquid. I like to see in a tank my liquid, which is why I like that Kanger sub tank so much, which is why I like the Orchid, which is why I like the Billow so much, because you can see all your liquid. You go, oh, that's it right there. But with this, just looking at it, you can't really see where your liquid is. And if you turn it upside down, all the liquid seems to disappear. And then if you turn it right side up, oh, well, there's also all the liquid again. So I can kind of see my liquid level right there. Um, I'm interested to see how durable it is, how long it lasts. The performance is great. I just wish it didn't sound like a friggin' wind tunnel. I could probably even turn the wattage up a little bit on this. I feel like it could go a little bit higher. Yes. Yes, loving this. Dig it, dig it. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Delta from Joy Tech. It's quite, quite nice. Joy Tech also sent over their new version of the Ego, um, which I don't have offhand. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. The Ego One. This is their this is their new Ego. The you know Joy Tech did the original Ego, and this is their newest one. Um, oh, there's a USB charge in the bottom. Interesting. Um, I don't know 
I haven't given this a shot yet. I'm going to give it a shot this week, and maybe we'll talk about it in the first impressions next week. But uh, yeah, it's the new designed Ego with the new atomizer on top. I'm assuming this is like a bottom coil clearomizer type situation going on there. Anyway, I'm interested to try it. I'm interested to give it a shot. But yeah, that's the new Ego from Joy Tech. I think that's going to wrap up all of the... Uh, all of my first impressions there was the you know this box there was the delta that's right there was the 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 dot mod petri i will post links in the descriptions to where uh to where you can pick up all of this uh all of this stuff if you want to research it uh if you want to research it further so what do we have next what do we have next uh what do we have next? I have no idea. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, before we get into some viewer mail, um, I just want to say again, yes, Vapor Slam 2015 is going to be awesome. I'm going to be there. Twisted's going to be there. Before we get into some viewer mail, I just want to say uh, we were just confirmed for VCC Tampa. That's right. VCC Tampa. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, there's going to be, uh, you know, I've never been to a VCC event. They had VCC in Tampa, then in Tennessee, then in uh, up where Kevin lives, wherever the fuck he lives. I don't remember where he lives. But they're doing the VCC, the Vaping Convention Circuit, in, uh, in Tampa. It's February 28th through March 1st. 2015 I will be there um, Namber Juice will be there in full force we'll have our booth that's probably where I'll be hanging out most of the time so swing by say hi we can have a vape it will be good 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 times I'm really excited about VCC I think it's going to be really fun I've never been to a VCC event before you know I've been to the ECC you know Vape Bash VaporCon Vapor Slam I was just in Oregon I'm really excited. I, I love vape meets. I just like going to vape meets and meeting people and vaping and seeing new products and trying new liquids. And I have a feeling that VCCT in Tampa, the Tampa Convention Center, February 28th and March 1st, 2015, is going to be uh it's going to be uh it's going to be a very, very fun event. So yeah, I'm gonna be there uh with bells on. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna attach these bells yet, uh, but uh I will uh, I will be there. It looks like they have a whole mess of good uh, vendors that are going to be there. Vapor Shark's going to be there. That's cool. Let's go to the gold sponsors. DC Vapor Distribution Company, the pro that company I was just talking about. Zussi Juice, they're a good company. Ben Johnson Classified's going to be there. Oh, happy. Oh, happy, happy. Oh, happy, happy. I love Ben. I love Ben Johnson. Um, he's a good guy. That makes me happy. Silver sponsors, Namber Juice is going to be there. BRV is going to be there. That's good. Uh, I believe Vaping Militia is going to be there as well. Uh, Vape News Magazine is going to be there. Uh, Spin Fuel is going to be there. Uh, Advocacy, CASA is going to be there. The American Vaping Association is going to be there. AIMSUS, FADA, uh, Vaping Militia. Their new sick logo, which if you haven't seen the new Vaping Militia logo, it is sick. It is super cool. It looks so rad. I want that on a t-shirt. Uh, well, I want that on a t-shirt right now. But uh, yeah, so I'll post the link in the description to the VCC uh, website where you can get more information. If you're in Tampa or you live in the Florida area, absolutely, I think you uh, I think you should come out. It's going to be a great time. Additionally, there is the SoCal Vape Expo, uh, which I'm going to be going to as well. Saturday, March 14th. Saturday, March. Saturday, March 14th. Sunday, March 15th. This year socal vapor expo uh i absolutely i will be going there and they won me over uh, i visited the website and i'm like oh socal vape expo that looks really cool oh yeah march 14th and 15th i could totally do that then down towards the bottom beer garden filled with local craft microbreweries that that's that's what i'm most excited about i want to go to this because of the beer garden filled with local craft microbreweries. I'm just going to be there all day. If you want to find me at the SoCal Vape Expo, I will be in the beer garden. That's where I will be hanging out. I will be drinking beer. You should come uh, You should come drink, uh, drink beer with me. But I'll post a link in the description as well to that. Um, gosh, this might be, uh, this might be a short... A short vlog. Uh, we're gonna round this out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna round this up with some viewer mail. Viewer mail. 
Loving, loving the Delta. I am just loving the Delta. First viewer mail comes from a fellow named Richard. Hey, Grim, I was wondering if I could get you opinion on what I should get. <laughs> I have a Clopper T6 with a plume veil, and I really like it, but I'm looking forward to something to take out and about. I've been looking into getting an Orchid, K-Fun, or Atlantis, or the Subtank. If you could give me your opinion uh, on what to get, that would be wonderful. Thank you for your time, Richard. Well, Richard, you got a lot of tanks to choose from these days. The first one I'm going to recommend is the Billow. Uh, if you're going to go down the Orchid route, which don't get me wrong, I do really like the Orchid. I think I like the Billow better. It's a rebuildable, and you have to wick it in such a way that it can stand up. It can it can wick the juice well. But once you get it built and working well, it's a really, really great, great tank. I've absolutely loved using the Billow. If you want to get a prefabricated sort of bottom coil clearomizer type of situation like the Atlantis. I kind of like the Kanger sub tank the best. And look, it's big. I know that it's big. It's a giant ass tank. I've put my rebuildable attachment in here. Uh, I believe I have to rebuild it because my ohms are jumping a little bit on the Sigeli, but it's great. Uh, I take this with me whenever I leave the house. Um, because I like the juice that's in it, but because it's a big tank, I know it's going to perform, and I can know that I can put it on something like the Sigeli 100 watt plus, and it will uh, give me a long battery life and plenty of vaping when I'm out, uh, you know, out and about running errands. The performance is nice. Uh, I actually, I can't compare it. Uh, the the pre-built coils for it are really, really great. I used one for about three weeks, I think, before I needed to replace it, and then I replaced it and I rebuilt it, but it's not quite the same. My, my build on here isn't stellar. It's a dual coil, but it's not amazing. I'm gonna rebuild it uh, probably today, actually. My ohms are just jumping all over the place. I've, I knew I didn't lock one of those screws down all the way. See, now it's saying I have 1.8 ohms. Now it's saying I have 1.2 ohms. God, now it's saying I have 1.6 ohms. This is not a good example. Uh, out of all the tanks, I might go with the Kanger sub tank. Um, they're coming out with the 22 millimeter and the nano versions of those very soon if you wanted a smaller size. But personally, I like... Uh, I like the big tank. I like knowing that there's a whole mess of juice in there and I'm not going to have to refill it for a while. I like the big tank. I would go with the Kanger, uh, Kanger sub tank uh, big one. I uh, got another viewer mail uh, from Jason. It says, hey, my name is Jason. I've got a question. What is the lowest ohm in an RDA that you can use with a variable voltage, variable wattage mod? I normally use my Doge RDA on my Apollo mech mod and I'm wondering if I can use it on a VV VW mod. Uh, Jason, that all depends on the mod itself. The Beast, the 200 watt regulated competition 26650 mod that I did a review for a while back, I misspoke in that video and I said it was good down to 0.8 ohms. It's actually good down to 0 0.08 ohms. So you can build very, very low with some of these. Um, on my Sigeli 150 watt, I was rocking a 0.2 ohm build and on other uh, you know regulated mods it's the limitation of the mod so the Sigelis can go really low um, the IPVs can go really low and that beast competition mod can go really low other regulated mods say you want a DNA 30 you can't really go super low on that say you want a uh, a uh, a DNA 40, you, know, you can't go really super low on that either. Um, there's some mods like the MVP or the MVP version 3, which is coming out soon, that you won't be able to build really low on. Those mods are limited. But look at something like the Sigeli 150, and you can build pretty freaking low. Not like into fractions, but like a nice 0 0.2 ohm build. You can crank up the wattage and get some nice, uh, some very, very nice power and performance from that. But it, it it's not has nothing to do with the RDA. It has everything to do with the limitations of the mod. So look at the specs and and actually see if you see something you like. See how low you can uh, you can build on it. Um, one last viewer mail. Uh, let's talk to Jack. 
Hi, my name is Jack and I'm from Denver, Colorado. First off, I would like to thank you for all that you do uh, and have continued to do for the vaping community. It's my pleasure, absolutely. Your videos have helped me along on my vaping journey more than you will know, but enough about that. What this is about is my struggle to stay off of cigarettes. I was doing really well for about a year. Uh, then I met my now fiance. She is a smoker and I'm not blaming her for my relapse, but it's difficult to stay away from cigarettes. Absolutely, I understand that. If there's any advice you could give me to get back on track, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time. Jack! Now is the best time uh, in the world to be a vapor. You can pick up an iStick 30 watt, an iStick 50 watt for 30 or 40 dollars. You can grab an Aspire Atlantis tank for about the same price, fill it up with liquid, and just vape it. There's so many options out there right now. And you don't even have to get confused by regulated mods or box mods or mech mods or, you know, uh, rebuilding or K funds or anything like that. You can get a simple fill and vape system like the Aspire Atlantis or the Aspire Nautilus or the Aspire Nautilus Mini. You can throw that on something like the iStick 30 watt or the iStick 50 watt and just vape it. It's super easy to do, super, super easy, and it can all be done for under a hundred bucks and you can just vape and, and just enjoy it. In fact, where's my iStick? Where's my eye stick? Oh man. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know where my eye stick is. Good god, I'm losing mods left and right. Maybe it's in the bedroom. I don't know. I don't know. I can see everything from here and there's no eye stick anywhere, unfortunately. But yeah, something like the eye stick 30 watt Aspire Atlantis. Boom. Just vape, just fill it up and vape and that's uh that's a super, super easy way to go. It's not complicated. You just dive in and uh, and you just vape. So there you go, Jack. Hope that answers uh, questions. Um, I do have uh, a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going to be traveling to some meets. Obviously, I mentioned VaporCon. Or VaporCon. We're doing VaporCon West again in Reno, Nevada, July 10th and 11th. Mark it down on your calendars. It's going to be a fun event. I've already confirmed... Uh, CJ, right? Vaping Monkey, right? You're going to be there. Uh, Local Vape is dying to get back to Reno, which I don't blame them because it was a really fun event. Um, I'm hoping hoping to get Enjoy there so that we can all talk to Enjoy and, and see that Enjoy is not part of Big Tobacco. I really want them to get to this vape meet. I'm going to be going to Winston-Salem, North Carolina for Vapor Slam, going to be at VCCT in Tampa, Florida, as well as Vape Bash, lovely old reliable Vape Bash in Chicago as well. Got a lot of devices and tanks as well coming up. I'm not accepting anything new at the moment. I just can't do it. Things are piling up and I need to get some of these reviews done. I still have the tugboat mod to do. I still have that Attermon mech mod that Todd already did a review for. I still still have the Kanger sub tank that Ruby Roo just did a video for. I've got mech mods, I've got atomizers, I've got tanks just coming out of my ears and so we need to get these on YouTube. We need to get this information there and cataloged and, and on and on YouTube. But I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, Obviously, thank you so much, everyone, for your continued support during this somewhat strange transitional time. There's just a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I appreciate the support, and I really do appreciate the kind words, um, but that's what I got. I think we're going to call it a wrap on this here vlog. I'm going to continue to just sit here and enjoy my Hexome V2, my Delta Tank, filled with Glacier Banana. I just love it. It's pairing very well with the Centennial IPA. I'm going to finish off the Centennial IPA. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. Oh, you are delicious. Yes, you are. You are delicious. I got a stormtrooper playing video games on my t-shirt. Can you see that? It's a stormtrooper playing video games on my t-shirt. It's great. <coughs> oh, pardon me, Sheik. That was just for you. <laughs> that was just...
That was just for you, buddy.